when you're not working, so when you're not doing the hospitality, when you're not doing property and etc., cetera, um, how do you like to spend your time? So what is it? Um, what is your passion that's outside of work? Like, what do you enjoy doing when you're not working? So we'll go to Liam and we'll just sort of go down the list. Thanks, Mark. Um, yeah, so outside of work, I mean, there's, um, uh, you know, it, it is all about spending time with uh, the family, walking the dogs along like the broads, the beach, um, and really just trying to create some, some really nice memories and, uh, you know, just experience some of the the world around us really so um about two weeks ago we bought a kayak and um myself charlie and my son harry is three years old uh you know just it's a a three-person kayak so we we just went down to a a little sort of river and uh went along the broads for for a few hours and i would quite happily spend my time doing that um other than that i mean i'm I'm a proper um junkie for information so i i kind of get um i don't know if it's a form of ocd but um i'd like to research different things a lot of the time so um i watched everest not too long ago the film everest so since then i've been reading lots of stories about mount everest all, all that sort of thing and uh um i like to set myself like uh, challenges i mean i'm not ever planning to do everest but I've done the three peaks and you start to look around and uh, I think just having a focus on what uh, kind of challenge uh, to do is, is another way I like to spend my time. And, um, uh, you know, one thing I've got coming up is, is a Tough Mudder just to ease me back into to getting fit. <laughs> um, so, yeah, a bit of a mix, really. Um, other than that, Netflix and um, I am a proper, you know, series junkie, anything that's a bit of drama. Um, from Breaking Bad to, uh, you know, some of the um, other long series, things like that. Um, we're, watching, we're, we're just reaching the end of Line of Duty at the moment. So, yeah, I know a lot of people say don't spend too much time on uh, on stuff like that, but I find it relaxing. And um, other than that, spending time with family, no, nothing too exciting, really. Um, but, yeah, that's, that's me. Thank you very much. Okay, moving down the list, Luca. Hi, hi guys. Um, well, I'm a I'm a traveler at the heart, so I used to travel a lot, a lot, a lot, and then uh, recently I used to travel around Europe um, to talk about trips, and that for me wasn't work. I mean, the the line between work and uh, and non work has been blurred for me for twenty years now. So, um, and that was like really fun for me, right? And then COVID happened, and I stopped traveling. Last time I was in Italy. 2019 December I'm in Bulgaria where I live and uh, it may sound strange and maybe sad to some I basically started traveling online in the sense that uh, and maybe you mark you you can it resonates a bit with you what's happening in crypto what's happening in this web tree thing which we call it's a totally different universe there's it's basically you, you can have, or, or general online, right? You can do anything which you do in the real life except test, test, bring test. your body there, right? And I know it sounds sad because somebody's going to say, test. yeah, but, you know, what's the experience with, with going on the beach and feeling the sand in your toes and stuff? And I'm all for that, right? But the internet has evolved in incredible ways in the last 10 years. And I started to think about the internet as... Uh, like the last continent discovered by the humankind in a way, right? It's, it's like a new continent, like the Americas. Now we have the internet and there's opportunities there, there's dangers there, there's work there, there's money there, there's people there. Right now we are online, we are together, but we are online. So the feeling I had, like psychologically, I, I started traveling in a different place. And of course, I'd like to travel to Italy, I'd like to travel to other countries, but since this is not possible, uh, my character is not the kind of, I'm not the kind of person who looks back and feels sad because I can't do something, right? Well, that's the situation today, and, and I just make the most of it. And it's been a trip. I mean, it's been incredible the last year, right? And uh, so what do I do apart from work? I don't know, because I'm working all the time, but it doesn't feel like work at all. Uh, the choice I've made three years ago, getting full-time into trips was 
the same choice I've, I've always done in my life. I only do things which are really, really passionate with me. And if, even if money is, is bad, and money is ba it's been bad forever in my life, uh, except now, because crypto is kind of giving me like fake money, because as, as, as if you don't change it in euro, it's fake money, but it feels like you're rich, right? Uh, or at least richer than before. So I'm constantly online. Uh, I have a, a wife and I have a kid, so I, I spend time with them. Uh, and often, to be honest, is, is the two of us on three different screens, which is, I know, very sad, but very true at the same time. I'm sure many of us do this. And um, I meet friends, but not too much because of COVID. I travel basically nothing. And, and incredibly, I feel fine. So, yeah, it may be pathological. <laughs> Don't take me as an example, but life is good. Uh, I know we're going to start traveling again. And when this happens, we're going to be, again, it's going to be 10 times better than before. Because it's another thing I realized. We got so used in being able to hop on a, tra on a, on a, on a plane and go somewhere that we stopped enjoying that, right? So before. Well, I went to Italy maybe 10 times, right? And it was like getting a bus, right? I get on the plane, I go to Rome, I get to Naples, I get to Florence. When I'm going to do this at the end of next year, it's going to be like going for the first time to Thailand or to Bali or to Africa, whatever, right? So life has a way to balance things, right? Expectations went down and the pleasure in doing these simple things is going to go up 10%. So that's where I stand now. I hope I haven't made anybody sad with my online life right having a blast gonna get it on the bruce lee podcast bruce lee like bruce lee because it's so hard and the t is loose leaf making up those rhymes don't write it just do it loosely